are finished with your planning, you can click on the icon for the surgical guide design. Then you choose the model which you want the guide to be designed on. Click the Next button and now look for an insertion pass from the occlusal side. Move the model up until you can just see the vestibular side of the anterior teeth. Then click the Next button. In the next step, all the undercuts will be blocked out. Now choose the tooth numbers you want your guide to be placed on. And if you go over here and the circles turn yellow, you can move the circles and you move the red dot to the middle of each tooth. So you can grab them and move them. Or if you're in the circle, you can just click on the position where you want to place them. If you are done with that, turn the model up and check that your surgical guide is not too far down on the gingiva, as here. Using the scroll wheel, you can make the circle smaller. On the other side, you can see that you have a sufficient connection to the sleeve holder everywhere. Make the circle bigger so it comes down to the lower side of the sleeve holder. Now click again on the Next button. And on the next page, you can see the offset. Offset means how tight the fitting of your surgical guide will be in the patient's mouth or on the model. Depending on your printer to a certain extent, if you increase the numbers, it will be looser. If you decrease the numbers, it will be tighter. And here you can adjust the wall thickness. Then hit the Next button again. And that is your first design of your surgical guide. Now move the surgical guide so that you can see the occlusal side and add your first inspection window. Now place it here on the ring of the sleeve holder to give the surgeon freedom for their instruments later, so that right now only the natural tooth is in the way. And the other inspection windows are for checking that the surgical guide sits perfectly in the patient's mouth during surgery. Add as many as you like to have perfect visibility everywhere in the patient's mouth later on. Then click on the next button and here you can add labels to the surgical guide. If you click on the Add button, you can write some text there. Or you can use the presets from the CT or CBCT. You can find the name of the patient, for example. You can put it on the guide and move it with your left mouse button. And with the scroll wheel, you can change the size. And where you find the T, you click on the T. You can have the letters embossed, or if you take the check mark out, they will be impressed. Then hit the Next button 
and your surgical guide is ready, either for export if you have the producer version for printing, or to send it somewhere to a producer license if you have the client license. case, I apply it and now you can see your finalized surgical guide. Thank you.